who who who's thirsty for information right now. Cause see, one thing about information, it has been it has been hidden from us so long that that when so when we find out, it's just like that Richard Pryor skit for y'all that's been following me. Remember, we touched on the hold on, we touched on the Richard Pryor skit. Y'all remember that? And in the Richard Pryor skit, um, you seen how Pryor went into the tombs, he went into the pyramids, and you know. The moment he realized that black motherfuckers made them pyramids, he couldn't help himself. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't help himself, y'all. He couldn't do it. He like, hold on. Nigga, this is us. Nigga, hold on. We did this. You see? And that's, that's really how it is. Like That skit came out in 1979, but it was so deep. All right? It was deep. Prior put it in there, you know? It's a lot of celebrities that have been killed, clone, and replaced that tried to warn you over time and you just wasn't aware of it. They warned you through, some of them was comedians. They warned you through their jokes. Some of them warned us through their music. Some of them warned us through their acting. Some of them tried to warn us through, they used their talent in a boxing ring like a Muhammad Ali, right? They try to warn you, you know? You had the Sam Cooks, you know? And even up to now, like you, even now, you always got the artists like Kanye West. One of them. And I'll say Nipsey Hustle. But mainstream artists. It hasn't been a mainstream artist since Kanye West. And then Nipsey Hustle tried to get out there and they, they got him out the way. But it hasn't been um a mainstream artist to use their talent to awaken the masses since Kanye West. Nobody gets is more vocal. King Lowe's, he gave a dope freestyle. We all know the freestyle. Legendary because he dropped so many esoteric gems in it. All right, shout out to King Los, another very wise soul that was hidden from the masses due to the fact that he was awoke and he he refused to to use his craft, his God given abilities, to sell out to these white folks. I'm another one though, but I've, I've never went mainstream, so that's why I mention myself. But yeah, I refuse to use my God given talents to sell out, you know, to Satan and use my abilities to to you know get Lucifer and Zeus's agenda done. I refuse to do that. You know, back, what, 2019, when I turned down that $2 million record deal. So, and it's more. It's more. I'm not the only one. Trust me. It's a lot of people that turned down deals and turned down opportunities in corporate America that they had because they refused to dilute who they are. And that's why we stand strong. But, you know, today we want to bring attention to Lil' Kim. So, because Lil' Kim is a situation, the Awoken ones know what's going on. Shout out to Daylight, but Daylight never went mainstream. I, I rock with Daylight. I rock with Daylight. But once again, how is he portrayed in the media? Daylight is portrayed as crazy. He's portrayed as loony. You know, I fucks with him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying the way the media portrays him. Okay? Uh, somebody said Triple X. Yes, XXX tried to wake people up, but a lot of adults wasn't on XXX. That was mature adults. He, he just came off as a mumble rapper to a lot of adults. I'm aware that he wasn't just a mumble rapper. And to a lot of youth that was younger than XXX, they just thought he was just a rapper too. It was very few that really seen what XXX was doing with his music and what he was speaking about. When he spoke about vibration and he spoke about frequency. I'm talking about X, XXX who was killed. right? He was sacrificed by, his, by the industry. But a lot of people don't even know that he blew up independently. Um, so yeah, they do that. They do that. They do you like that. We're going to talk about it. All. They do you like that. Uh, R. Kelly was just trying to get his masters back, uh, you know, before all them accusations came out on him years ago, even the initial ones that came out. I mean, it get deep. It get deep. We're going to run it down. Okay. Prince was trying to get his masters back. He ended up dead all of a sudden. And Michael Jackson, we know he owned half of the Beatles catalog as well as his masters. And, you know, he ended up dead right before he went on his tour at 50. So understand that. This is a fight that's been going on, but certain people have been used to 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 push the status quo and to push the agenda a lot more harder than others. All right, so if they can't use you, they just like to re replace you. Okay, that's what they're trying to do with me. They they're not able. I won't. I didn't sign a record deal with them. I refuse to sign this deal with YouTube. YouTube want me to sign with them. I get. I bet you if I sign this contract with YouTube. I'll jump to a million subscribers. My shit won't get censored. I wouldn't have no issue, but I'm not selling out. I don't care if they took the whole channel. I'm not selling out. 
All right, I told many of you this. All right, they uh, Instagram trying to get me to sign with them. All right, these these platforms have literally reached out to me. All right, and trying to get me to work with them. All right, because we have built such a huge following without them, without no none of them. This is all the ancestors. But once again, when you refuse to work with the powers that be, they attack you. Like what I'm going through right now. I have a whole fake case that everybody know about. I, I get I touched on it in my last lecture. I have a whole fake case being pent on me. I'm being framed right now as an innocent God, innocent soul. We ain't going for it. That's why right now, if y'all still on the team, y'all keep blowing up that district attorney down there. 